So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in view and network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you're gonna find your network adapter. You're going to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on internet protocol version four. And now you're gonna make sure that use the footage your nest server address has been selected. You're gonna make the first line one, 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 one. And you'll make the second line one, zero, zero, one. And click on okay. Now once you've done that, you wanna click on configure and then click on the power management tab. And then you wanna untick, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. And now you wanna click on the advanced tab. Now once you're on this, you're gonna have something that's called roaming aggressiveness. I don't have it on this computer, but you're gonna have it on your laptop. It's called roaming aggressiveness. So now once you find it, you wanna click on it and then set the value data to enabled. And you might also have the option to set the value between the number between one and five. You wanna set the number to one. Now, once you've done that, you wanna scroll down and you wanna look for throughput booster. Once you see throughput booster, you wanna change the value on that to disabled. And now, once you've done that, you wanna look for fat channel intolerant. Once you find fat channel intolerant, you wanna click on it and then you wanna change the value to enabled. And then click on OK. And now, for the second step, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Now, once you're on this, you wanna expand network adapters and then you wanna find your network adapter. You wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search responsive for drivers. Make sure you have the best drivers installed for your device. And now for the last step, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're gonna run as administrator. And then click on yes. Now, once you're on this, you wanna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Now we're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash release and click on enter again. Now we're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash renew and click on enter. And now we're gonna type in netsh space int space ip space reset and click on enter. And now we're gonna type in netsh space winsock space reset and click on enter again. Now you want to restore your computer and then that's how you do it.